My father came to your beautiful country when I was a child. He had heard about the mythical vibranium. But the Black Panther said they had no vibranium to give. He slit my father's throat. That panther is dead. So you will have to do. You and your people. You finally agree to accept help, and it is from outside us. That is not like you. I am not accepting help. I am giving it. Then let me send teams to the corrupted sites. Take the Dora Milaje with you. Do something other than driving yourself headfirst into danger. I am not just a king on a throne. I am the Black Panther. Then show us you can be both. I will. Finish the job, boys! They are attacking the shield around Benintana! Can't you join us below it? You should embrace your spiritual side. Got a couple toys just for you, Panther. Here they come! With me! Shuri, we need to evacuate the borderland. Welcome to the War Table for Wakanda, a walkthrough of the new expansion starring Black Panther coming to Marvel's Avengers tomorrow at no additional cost. War for Wakanda is an exciting new release that aims at refreshing the Marvel's Avengers experience and is the largest and most ambitious expansion since launch. We're excited to welcome Black Panther to Marvel's Avengers, and today we're going to share details with you about the story campaign, new gameplay, enemies, and more. And of course, we couldn't bring the king to Avengers without also bringing his kingdom. So we'll be unveiling some new details and footage of Wakanda as well. To ensure our War for Wakanda story does justice to such an important hero, our narrative team enlisted the help of well-known writer and Black Panther expert Evan Narcisse, author of the Rise of the Black Panther Marvel comics. From the very first meeting the team had with Evan, they felt a special magic and are really proud of the work they've done to craft an original story and bring Black Panther to life. Together, they threw themselves into the challenge of both respecting and celebrating existing Black Panther stories and bringing the culture of Wakanda to life. Here's Evan to tell you more about himself. Hi, everybody. It's Evan Narciss. I'm here, of course, to talk about the War for Wakanda expansion for Marvel's Avengers. When we were working on the War for Wakanda story, the narrative team and I drew inspiration from so many different story arcs in the comics, dating back to the Black Panther storylines such as Who is the Black Panther by Reginald Hudlin and John Romita Jr. and A Nation Under Our Feet by ta Coates and Brian Stelfreeze. So these stories were of course so important to how we thought about our version of the Black Panther. When we were working on the narrative for War for Wakanda, it was essential for us to tell a Wakandan story even though it takes place in the Avengers universe. And of course, Wakanda is its own sovereign African nation. It's also the most advanced civilization on Earth. Its technological achievement is fueled by vibranium, a precious material found only in a meteor that crashed on Earth centuries ago. The kingdom is ruled by King T'Challa, the Black Panther. And in War for Wakanda, T'Challa faces a massive invasion unlike anything the country has ever faced before. T'Challa is a man who lives many roles. He's a king, he's a leader of an entire nation, and he's a brother. And this invasion will test him in all of those roles. It's gonna be really difficult for him to figure out who he is and what he needs to be for Wakanda to be safe. This invasion is led by Ulysses Claw, a rogue scientist with a dark secret and a darker grudge. Claw's assembled an army of mercenaries, all of them equipped with deadly sonic technology and large spider-like necks that he unleashes into the Wakanda jungle. Claw is being bankrolled by one of the world's most sinister organizations, and he uses all that money and all those resources to plant sonic fracking towers all over Wakanda so he can extract vibranium from the soil. This is a devastating process that corrupts the vibranium and creates clusters of deadly poisonous shards that show up all over the world. 
This, of course, is how the Avengers get involved in the war for Wakanda. After the 8A disaster, Wakanda closed its borders and cut off all communication with the outside world. After the dangerous corrupted vibranium starts to appear all over the globe, the Avengers travel to Wakanda to offer their help to King T'Challa. Another important character showing up in the expansion is Okoye. She's the captain of the Dora Milaje, an elite fighting force that answers only to the king. She's also kind of the voice of truth for T'Challa, which means she tells the king stuff that everybody else is afraid to even voice. Along with Okoye, we've got Zavavari. He's a mystic who has this really tense, fraught relationship with the royal family. T'Challa is not the only member of the royal family showing up in this expansion. We also have his younger sister, Princess Shuri. She's the head of technological development in Wakanda. She doesn't agree with T'Challa's approach to dealing with Claw, and the War for Wakanda expansion exposes the fragility of T'Challa and Shuri's relationship. It sets up a series of confrontations that will test their bond, as well as their partnership with the Avengers. Even if they all find a way to come together, it may not be enough to stop the growing threat to Wakanda and its people. The narrative team and I, we created this new original Black Panther adventure, drawing on inspiration from so many amazing existing storylines from the comics and other iterations of the character. We all know and love this character so much and want to share that love with all of you guys. And we're so excited about bringing this new adventure to Marvel's Avengers for all of you to enjoy. Black Panther is known for his cat-like agility and lethal claws. He is an untouchable force that can pounce at any moment. The team has crafted a full arsenal of custom moves to capture his fighting style and bring him to life. Out of my sight is Black Panther's signature attack, which can be charged with intrinsic energy to perform the kinetic slash, a spiraling uppercut. From this move, Black Panther can branch in and out of the spinning strike light combo. Pounce from the ground or the air to grab enemies and unleash a flurry of claw strikes. The intrinsic meter is super important for Black Panther. You're going to want to prioritize blocking and parrying to store kinetic energy, which can then be released in a percussive blast. Black Panther's percussive blast unleashes all your stored energy in a large kinetic burst that knocks away nearby enemies and boosts Black Panther's melee damage for a short time. Perform a parry just before an enemy attack connects to turn their attack into a blast of kinetic energy that knocks them back and staggers nearby foes. Enemies who have recently been parried are easier to interrupt with attacks. Black Panther can construct daggers made of energy and vibranium which can be thrown at enemies, near or far. His basic daggers will embed into targets making them more vulnerable to melee damage. They're a great way to weaken an enemy before unleashing a barrage of melee attacks. The Kamoyo Beads can target enemies or allies and provide either detrimental or restorative abilities to their target. The Beads can be upgraded and provide additional support or offensive capabilities such as armor against attacks, destroying incoming projectiles, shooting enemy targets, or dealing damage over time. Additional skills can be unlocked to supercharge your sprint, evade, signature, and combo finisher attacks using your intrinsic energy. There are so many ways to play Black Panther, but here are some powerful highlights. The Assault Heroic King's Mercy is a vibranium spear that can pin multiple targets and deal out large amounts of damage. The spear can be customized to explode on contact or create multiple smaller spears for rapid fire. Call upon the power of the Panther Goddess Bast to summon a Spectral Panther to charge through your foes and empower Black Panther with the energy from the Ancestral Plane, boosting defensive capabilities. Unleash supercharged attacks without expending any intrinsic energy. The ultimate can be customized to revive down heroes, weaken at nearby enemies, and even summon spectral warriors to fight alongside. Black Panther himself is a fully unique hero with the same amount of skills and gear as the rest of the Avengers. He'll have around 40 outfits and a full suite of emotes, takedowns, and nameplates for the marketplace. Releasing alongside the War for Wakanda expansion is an extensive refresh to the menu pages for Marvel's Avengers. Some of the biggest updates are related to the new unified character page. It contains everything associated with a hero in one easy to navigate space. Here you can manage your gear, cosmetics, emotes, and takedowns, as well as view hero and challenge card progress, so you can get back to the action more quickly. 
This update includes commonly requested improvements for managing a hero's loadout, including more easily comparing items, locking your favorite gear for safety, and dismantling multiple items at once. Direct access to your locker from anywhere adds an extra layer of convenience. This only scratches the surface of UI improvements our team has crafted for you in this update. As Evan mentioned earlier, we have drawn a lot of inspiration from the Black Panther comics while striving to make a unique and respectful rendition of Wakanda and its cast of characters. War for Wakanda features a full new biome, the jungles of Wakanda, showing off both the rich and amazing history of this ancient, unconquered African country, but also the futuristic, symbiotic technology of contemporary Wakanda. At the center is the Wakandan capital, Berninzana, where our new outpost is located. It features King T'Challa's throne room from where he rules and the command center where all important decisions regarding the country's security takes place. Shuri's lab houses the nerve center for Wakanda's Kimoyo network. The spiritual annex is located on the lower floor, where Zavavari aids the royal family in the ways of mystical powers. The Wakanda mission design is built on the same foundation as Marvel's Avengers, but with new objectives and an extra focus on dangerous traversal, exploration, and puzzles. Almost all War for Wakanda content is multiplayer enabled, apart from the introduction mission, which is single player only. This is where Black Panther is introduced and celebrated as a new, unique hero. War for Wakanda features a full A-list cast of actors, helmed by Christopher Judge as Black Panther. Christopher is best known for playing Kratos in the latest God of War game and from the TV show Stargate. Shuri is played by Erica Luttrell, known from Dishonored, Westworld, and Apex Legends. Okoye is played by Deborah Wilson from Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, and Zavavari is played by Dave Fenoy, best known from The Walking Dead games. Steve Bloom is going all in as the villain Ulysses Claw. To get the Wakandan accent just right, we worked closely with Beth McGuire, the dialect coach from the Black Panther movie. Beth has had multiple coaching sessions with each of the key actors to ensure that the accents are properly delivered and has been an integral part of the voice sessions. As you may have already noticed, Wakanda will release with several new enemies. The main villain is Black Panther's nemesis from the comics, Ulysses Claw, also known simply as Claw. And we're bringing a new sonic rendition of him to life based on his iconic marble look. Claw's story is linked to Wakanda, and we're excited to reveal our all-new version of his origins in this expansion. Claw has brought with him a team of mercenaries. They have a variety of vibranium and sonic-powered weapons and should pose a real challenge for Black Panther and the Avengers. We're also introducing a new menace, the spider-like crawlers. They come in different variants, including smaller-sized scout crawlers and large hunter crawlers. We're excited to announce the legendary comic villain Crossbones as Claw's head lieutenant, and to debut Wakanda with two new villains in one expansion. Crossbones, or Brock Rumlow, is a sociopathic super mercenary who works for the highest bidder, and he's ready to lead the invasion of Wakanda. Crossbones is a formidable foe and has an impressive arsenal at his disposal, including an impenetrable shield that makes him immune to many of Black Panther's attacks. Discover Crossbones' origins and find out how the Avengers created their own enemy. Thank you for joining us for our War for Wakanda War Table. Log in tomorrow to play Black Panther and defend Wakanda alongside the Avengers. Here's one last look at how massive Marvel's Avengers has become and why now is the right time to assemble.
in Wakanda. I still can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs>